The Book of Job, Chapter 2 Job is Tested When Satan appeared before God again, the Lord asked whether he had considered how Job had remained faithful despite his losses. Job 2, 1-3 through three. Again it happened on the day when the sons of God came to present themselves before Yahweh, that Satan came also among them to present himself before Yahweh. Yahweh said to Satan, Where have you come from? Satan answered Yahweh and said, From going back and forth in the earth and from walking up and down in it. Yahweh said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? For there is none like him in the earth, a blameless and upright man, one who fears God and turns away from evil. He still maintains his integrity, although you incited me against him to ruin him without cause. Satan then made another challenge, saying that Job would curse God if he himself were harmed. Job 2, 4-5 Satan answered Yahweh and said, Skin for skin, yes, all that a man has will he give for his life. But put forth your hand now, and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will renounce you to your face. God then allowed Satan power over Job, but only up to a point of actually taking his life. With such power, Satan strikes Job with painful boils. See 2, 7 and 8, 7, 5 and 30, 30 over his entire body. Job 2, 6 through 8. Yahweh said to Satan, Behold, he is in your hand. Only spare his life. So Satan went forth from the presence of Yahweh and struck Job with painful sores from the sole of his foot to his head. He took for himself a pot shred to scrape himself with, and he sat among the ashes. Job's wife lost what faith she might have had and told him to curse God and die. Job 2.9 Then his wife said to him, Do you still maintain your integrity? renounce God and die. Job, however, refuses to sin with his lips. Job 2.10 But he said to her, You speak as one of the foolish women would speak. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of God, and shall we not receive evil? In all this, Job didn't sin with his lips. At this point, three of Job's friends, Elipaz, Bildad and Zophar came to mourn and try to comfort him. Job 2.11 Now when Job's three friends heard of all this evil that had come upon him, they each came from his own place, Eliphaz from Terminate, Bildad from Shuhite, and Zophar from Namanite. And they made an appointment together to come and sympathize with him and to comfort him. However, they are shocked when they see Job, whom they did not recognize because of the boils. Job 2.12 When they lifted up their eyes from the distance, they didn't recognize him. They raised their voices and wept, and they each tore his robe and sprinkled dust on their heads toward the sky. They sat dumbfounded for seven days and nights without a word in reaction to the magnitude of his grief. Job 2.13 So they sat down with him on the ground seven days and seven nights, and none spoke a word to him, for they saw that his grief was very great. This ends our study of the book of Job, chapter 2, Job is Tested.